The Christmas lights were just turned on moments ago in Red Fork. Red Fork is a part of Tulsa on the west side, but many people still consider it to be its own little town and it's growing. News on 6's Emery Bryan has the story. Red Fork is old enough of a place to have gone from boomtown to almost bust. But now there's some renewed interest in this area. Some new businesses moving in, fueling optimism that there are better days ahead for what's now called the Red Fork District. Just a block or two of buildings and a bend in the road on Route 66 make up the heart of Red Fork. Today, the final work on the Christmas lights wrapped up, and business owners like Josh Stout, he's a painter and sculptor, are hopeful about holiday shopping. So right now there's a lot of energy, there's lots of new businesses coming in. A big part of one of the more prominent buildings is for sale and other older businesses are turning over into new ventures. Red Fork has long established businesses like Ollie's Restaurant and down the road the once nearly abandoned Crystal City Shopping Center is just about full and busy with customers. Another artist, Mary Jo Luster, has been here 15 years and sees the beginnings of an arts district. There is a lot of things going on, you know, because more people are interested in the area and the history is fantastic. In this area, people just knew. Red Fork was the site of Tulsa County's first oil well. That made it a hub of the railroad and that hasn't changed. The effort now for business leaders is to build on the history. And we've made a big push to revitalize this area, revitalize the historic buildings. For a spot that many people still consider as a destination inside Tulsa, the history is the way to a better future. In Red Fork, Emory Bryan, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.